In this video, I'm going to share five simple tips. Here is our first example. This loop sounds a little dull, and I would like to add some brightness to it. You could use EQ to boost high frequencies, but there is a better way. Let's insert Exciter in an audio effect slot. Exciter generates high frequency content that is not part of the original signal. You can use it to add life to your recordings. Set the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter first. The input signal passes through the filter before harmonics are introduced. You can dial it with the knob and choose between two different colors. Now let's move to our second example. Sometimes when you use pre-recorded loops, it's difficult to tell what notes are being played. You can start using tuner utility to identify pitches. Also you can use to tune your instruments. Now let's move to the third example. This sample is in mono, I would like it to be in stereo and add some width to it. In delay group you can find sample delay plugin. It can be used to emulate stereo microphone channel separation. Simply set the number of samples or milliseconds the incoming signal is delayed by. Let's move to our next tip. This is something I personally do every time I create a new project. I insert a limiter to the main output. Limiter reduces any peak above the threshold, effectively limiting the signal to this level. Now let me show you why you need that on your main output. If you look at the maximum level on the track, you can see that was way too high. It would probably hurt my ears or damage the speakers. But the main output didn't pass the zero. I highly recommend you to keep limiter on at all times for safety reason. Now let's move to our last tip. If you open global tracks, you can find a signature track. When you create a project, the key signature defaults to C major unless you choose a different key. You can add any number of key changes to a project. When you add a new one, it changes the key from the insertion point forward until the next key signature change is reached. You can store up to 9 sets. Now let's see why that matters. We'll place the same loop from library under different keys and see how it sounds. As you can hear, key signature affects the playback of Apple loops in the project. Use it to your advantage. If you have any questions or suggestions for my next video, leave a comment below.